what up what up Wimbush here and today we're going to go through how to use the uh, redshift sprites instead of the opacity channel whenever you're texturing like your plants or anything else that you want to use in redshift using the mega scans library now if you go into my previous video that i just uploaded on the second here texture and mega scan plants with redshift and cinema 4d i went through how i used the uh, the grass from mega scans wider grass assets Bring it into Cinema 4D, I texture it up with Redshift, and I show you how to render with that. But one of the comments from one of the viewers below gave me a tip. His name is Jason Loader, and he was saying if you use the sprite node instead of the opacity channel, it actually speeds up your renders, and it gets kind of past the trace, um, trace depth limitations. And so I gave that a go, and I have a speed test here that I want to show you guys. So this is the same exact scene that I did before, and... Um, with my method my render times actually came out to 32 minutes and that's because i used the whole like i i just used a whole gang of grass in here put them on each vertice and i just wanted to test out the limits of what could be done so this is a ton of grass in here using the method that i previously said and then using jason's method with the sprite node the render times came down to two minutes and 43 seconds which is a tremendous boost so what i'm gonna do right now is actually show you guys how to use the sprite node because when i was looking online i couldn't i only found maybe like one or two helpful things online so i figured a video will help you guys out even more giving you kind of visual representation of what's going on so i came into my redshift materials here and this is the same setup i had before and i'm going to take my opacity texture and i'm going to delete that we don't want to use that anymore we actually want to use a rs sprite so I'm going to come over here on my left hand side, type in Sprite. And I'm going to drag this node into here. Now under path, this is where we want to use our opacity channel. And so I'm going to come and find my opacity material here for my grass. I'm going to drag this over to the path. Click no. And there we go. And now for this right here, opacity calculation is from my understanding that since my um, material here, the PNG doesn't have an actual alpha, we want to use the from color intensity. But if you have an actual alpha, you want to go with from alpha. So I'm going to keep this with color intensity. Bring my sprite right here in front of my artist material in my out color. I'm going to click and drag this here to the blue. And for shader input, go to input. And now for my out color for my sprite, I'm gonna bring that into my surface output. And so now this is pumping everything over here through my mis um, my redshift material, bringing it through my sprite, which is telling it to punch out the alpha, and then it's gonna bring it to our final node here. So whenever you hit render, again, this is the result that I got with the two minutes and 43 seconds. And I'm using my method of using the matrix cloner and you can see how many, um, I have about 10,000 um, seeds in here. But this just shows you how much faster that method is. So once again, thank you, Jason. I mean, that helps out a lot, especially moving forward whenever I'm working. And hopefully you guys find this helpful too. So again, if you guys ever catch me slipping and you have any um, workarounds on anything I'm working on, I mean, I'm learning every day as well. So please leave me a comment below. And again, make sure you subscribe, click like on this channel if this helped you out. And until next time, keep creating.